Welcome back to Ibi Shai's YouTube channel. Today's class we are going to learn how to make this beautiful Mama African 3D design on a dress. So you can see, we made this using our Akara and our crepe fabric. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make this beautiful caftan, I'm going to be working with this crepe fabric, okay? It's a white crepe. I'm going to be using this Akaya fabric as well. You can use any print or it doesn't have to be Akaya. You can use any fabric of your choice. And then I'm going to be making use of this sticker. So I'm going to be using any one of these big ones, okay? I'm going to be making use of any one of them. And I'm going to show us how we are going to do this from beginning to the end. So in case you are wondering where you can get these stickers, we have them for sale in different sizes. So you can just contact me on Instagram as Libitress if you need any of them. We sell both wholesale and the resale. So now let's get into the tutorial proper. So this is just a short dress. It's going to be around my knee length. So the length I'm working with is 40 inches. I'm just going to have two inches for allowance for a minute. So the length I'm working with here is 42 inches. I have 42 inches here as the length. And then the width that I'm going to work with is going to be my shoulder measurement. That's my back. That's 16 inches. So if I fold it, so if I fold it, into two that's going to be eight inches for me so after measuring the eight inches you're just going to add the length that you want for your sleeve so you can add it's not going to be a long sleeve it's just going to be around the bicep area so you can add from four to six inches depending on what you want so now to fold my fabric i'm just going to it's folded into two first you can see so this is how it is so i fold it into two then after folding into two i'm going to fold again into four so i have two for front and two for back and then i'm just going to lay this on my table so now i'm going to check the measurement that i have here for my width remember i said you need your back measurement divided by two and then whatever length you want to work with my back measurement divided by two is eight inches so here i have an excess of six inches and then i'm going to add one inch for folding my sleeve as well so all together i have about 15 inches as the width yours may not be up to this totally up to you and the length that you want for your sleeve so to measure this i'm going to start from the center fold which is here and then i'm going to mark my neckline so the neck width that i'm working with depending on how wide you want yours to be i'm going to leave it at three inches because i don't want it too wide and then the neck depth for the for the back is going to be one and a half inches and then for the front it does not have a zipper so it has to be low enough for the head to go to remember the width is not too wide so for the depth i think i'm going to leave it at seven inches depth and it's going to be a v neckline okay so i would have used a white chalk because this is a white fabric ball i'm not going to see what i'm doing very well so i'm going to connect my neckline measurement this is for the back and this is for the front so for my shoulder slope on this other side this outer part here i'm going to come down by one and a half inches from the shoulder measurement i'm coming by by one and a half inches and then from there i'm going to connect to my neck point here to form my shoulder slant so after that i'm going to measure out my sleeve opening so this sleeve opening is not supposed to be tight so you can measure around your bicep so for me measuring around my bicep i have about about 15 inches that measurement will be taken loosely so if you divide 15 inches by two you're going to have seven and a half so you start measuring from where your shoulder slant stops so because i then said this is not going to be tightly fitted i can make it to 
up to 9 inches or even 10 inches depending on what you want so i'm just going to leave mine on nine and a half so this is where my opening is going to be from my shoulder slant here up to nine and a half inches mark okay and if you feel it's too wide you can leave it at nine inches okay i'm going to leave it at nine inches so the nine inches i'm going to measure it here as well and then i have just a slant line it's a free dress so i'm not going to be working with my my hip measurement my waist measurement but if you want it fitted that's when you will need your waistline measurement your hip measurement and all of that measurement so that you can adjust how you want it to be on your body but for me from here from where my sleeve opening stops i'm just going to come in by two inches okay and then i'm going to make that two inches i'm going to take it all the way to the hem it's just going to be a straight dress and it's going to be loosely fitted so for if you're on the big size after taking this measurement you need to check it with your hip measurement okay my hip measurement is around 44 inches divided by four is going to give me 11 inches so after checking now i have about self and half so i still have enough allowance to sew it but if you know that this is not enough for your hip then you need to increase your measurement so you're going to work with your hip measurement this is fine for me so this is what i'm going to go for i'm just going to make a slant curve here so that this part is not going to be too too sharp and that is all you need to do so now i'm going to come in with my scissors and then cut out this shape that i have so i have cut out the side now you can see my little sleep opening i just want it a little bit free here that was why i had it i didn't cut exactly on where the chalk is see this where my chalk is i just had it about 0.75 i just i bought it and then i cut it out like that because i don't want it tight at all so now the next thing now is to cut my back neckline then after cutting the back neckline i'm going to cut my shoulder slant so after cutting all of this now i'm just going to remove the back okay and then I'm going to refold this and cut out my front neckline. So making sure everything aligned, I'm going to come in with my scissors and then cut out my V neckline for the front. Okay, so now after cutting it, this is what it looks like. You can see we're going to be working on the front first. So I have chosen to work with this sticker. So this is the sticker I'm going to work with. And if you check the thumbnail, you will see that it has like an edge J. So for my edge J, I'm going to leave like 10 inches, depending on how big you want your edge J to be. So for me, I'm going to leave around 10 inches. So the 10 inches is going to be measured from where my V neckline stops. So I'm just going to be working with measurements. So here I'm going to mark out 10 inches from where it stops here. And then the 10 inches stops around here for me so i'm just going to leave a faint mark here and then i'm going to make sure that this is centralized so i'm trying to get the midpoint of that part because you don't want it to be looking different okay so this is my center point so now after noting your center point now i'm going to go ahead and fix my sticker on that point so you can see how i am so i'm placing it so after placing it like this you're just going to place i'm going to be placing the paper so that i don't apply it directly on my sticker i'm just going to you can use a baking sheet as well i'm just going to place it on it now and then you apply your heat so now you can use your iron or you use your e transfer i'm going to be using e transfer for mine and then i'm going to be leaving a link on the video to under this comment section because i don't want it to be too long but basically what i'm going to do is just to place it wherever i want it to be like this apply something on it and then i'm going to apply my heat okay so after using pressing your heat on it just wait wait for it to cool and then you you peel it off so after peeling it off you have it like this on your 
fabric so like i said i have a detailed tutorial on how you can do this it's just the simple process that i have explained but i don't want this video to be too long that's why i did not repeat it in this video so i'll just give the link down below if you want to watch the full process the link is going to be in the description box down below so now the next thing now is to start to decorate this with our fabric so depending on the design that you want to go for remember i measured 10 inches here earlier for my gilly so now what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and cut that measurement on my fabric because i'm going to gather it i'm just going to add around two to three inches so i'll cut a fabric of three in uh, 13 inches by how wide you want it to be so for me i want it to be around 20 inches wide so just like this i'll go ahead and cut a fabric of 13 inches by 20 inches so after cutting it i'm going to turn it on the edges so that it can be neatly finished so if you don't want to turn it you can weave it as well if you have a weaving machine you just weave all the rough edges remember i can fabric free so you don't want that on your design so all you just need to do is to weave it round. So you can see that I have weaved mine round. Then after weaving it round, I'm going to note the midpoint. So after noting the midpoint, I want to run a gather stitch on the midpoint and then I'm going to gather it a bit. So you can see, I'm just gathering it a bit. So you can gather it to around the 10 inches that you are, that you left for your midpoint. So after gathering it now, I'm just going to place it on this point and then I will sew it down. So after gathering it like this, if you want it more gathered, you just need to increase your length measurement. You are going to place it on this upper part. So for it to look as tight as possible, I want to cover this overhead part with my car fabric as well. So what I'm going to do now is just to bring the the film that I hope that I opened from this part. You can see how transparent is it, it is. So I'm going to place it on this head part here so after placing it like this i'm going to take my pencil and then cut out the head okay that's the round shape area that you have before the hair so i want to use that to cut out and carry to cover all these braided parts so now after carving it out like this i'm going to just mark out how i want my ankara pattern to go okay so after marking it out and then i bring it out i can see it here clearly so with my scissors, I'm just going to cut out that shape that I have drawn. Okay, this part is actually optional, but because I want this to look really tight, that is why I am doing this. So now, you can see now that I have carved it out, you can place it again to see what you have. So placing it, I see that it is exactly what I want. So I'm just going to cut off the excess that I have on this upper part. So now you are going to go ahead and cut this pattern on your fabric and then you i'm going to turn this hopper part with my bias remember it's going to be here so it will show i'll turn it with my bias and then i'll just fold in the other edges okay so i've gone ahead to do this now and then i have cut it out so you can see that i have turned this with my bias and placing it like this you can see that it has concealed all the braided parts for me so after placing it like this i'm going to go ahead and sew it down before i place this design on it so this design as well if you have enough fabric you can just go ahead and double it okay so this is going to be at the midpoint like this and then i'm going to sew it down so after doing this now what i'm going to do now is, is to create my bow so to create the bow remember i used around 20 inches for this these measurements are totally up to you depending on what you want so from here now i'm just going to reduce my mesh the width by around six to eight inches and then i'm going to use that to cut out another fabric so this is the fabric consider the width is smaller than this but the length remains the same because i'm going to pleat it just like we pleat our bow so i have two of these i've gone ahead to use them to turn each other so after turning it on each other you just look for a small space that you leave and then i'm going to turn everything out from that small space so i have turned this out now and then again i'm going to get the midpoint just like we have done several bows on this channel so after getting the midpoint i'm just going to pleat the midpoint or you just gather it you can see i'm gathering it with my hand and after that you can see that my bow is formed so i have a small strap here and i'm going to use that to hold it down so this is what the bow is going to look like and 
okay so i have gone ahead to just tie it down like this so after tying it tightly i'm going to reduce it you can also sew it down okay so this is what the bow is looking like now so what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and sew this small part down first i'm going to sew it on my sewing machine then after sewing it i'm going to place this big part and then i'm going to place it on this and then sew it down at the center point so after sewing it down at the center point i'm going to place this small bow as well and then i'm just going to tack it to this big part so this big part on the edges as well i'm going to tack it down okay so that it can stay in place for me so i'll go ahead and do all of this and then i'll come back so that i can work on the lower part if you don't want to do all of this covering that we are doing if you are working with a sticker like this so you can just get a small bow okay you can see that this particular sticker has like braid a really nice braid there so you can just get a small size of bow and then use it to cover up this red pattern so now you just place your bow like this and then the hair is going to show a bit so that's way to just look like you tied a bow around the hair and you can see how nice it is so this is not going to require you covering up all of these edges so you just need to be creative with this so i have gone ahead to sew it down and this is what it looks like you can see what i have here you can decide on the design that you want so now the next thing now is to go ahead and create the gathers that we have here so for this i have cut out a strip of fabric this fabric is about 20 inches wide okay this is 18 inches half size and minutes you can see i have folded the rough edges in and then the length is around seven inches after aiming as well so i have three of these i have one, two for the ankara and then i cut one using the plain fabric that i'm working with so i have gone ahead to run gather stitch on it as well so now i'm going to gather it to this neckline that i want to pleat it to so now i'm going to go ahead and run my gathers i'll just pick any of the thread and then i'm going to drag it so you just drag it gently to the measurement that you want so depending on what you want i don't want to work with too much fabric so i'm just going to work with this um three inch, this 20 inches if you want the gathers to be really full you just need to increase what you're working with so it's totally up to you so i have gone ahead to gather all three of them so what i'm going to do now is to arrange it for so that i can note where i'm going to place it so the first one is going to be ankara and i'm going to arrange it following the neckline that i already have it because i don't want this purple dress to show so now you can see how i'm placing it this is how i'm going to place it and this is how my first one is going to be placed so now the next one is going to be the plain fabric and then i'm just going to you can hold this down with a paint first so that it doesn't shift so after holding it down i'm going to go ahead and place the second one so after placing the first one now i'm just going to raise it up and then place the second one to see what it looks like so you can see so now i'm okay with what i have i'm just going to go ahead and lift it up and also pin down that part okay so the same thing that we have done here we are going to do to the third one so this is what we have so now i'm going to shift it now and then bring in my third one raise this up as well and then place it and see what it looks like so you arrange this anyhow you want so once you are okay with what you have i just want this to spread a little bit more now i'll spread it just do whatever it is that you want so now this is what it looks like and it looks good to me so i'll just go ahead and pin down the third one as well and then i'll take it to the sewing machine and just sew it down so it is that simple so you don't have to go with this design you can go with whatever design it may not be flare gather it can be flare it can be just whatever it is that you want so now i'll go ahead and sew this down and bring it back to show us what it looks like okay so i have gone ahead to sew it and this is what it looks like you can see how beautiful this is looking now so now the next thing i'm going to do now is to turn my neckline you can turn it with your bias but i'm going to cut like a facing to turn it out and i'm going to do the same thing for the back as well i'm going to turn the back neckline after which i'm going to lay the front and back on each other i'll sew it on the shoulder area and then i'm going to turn out my 
my sleeve round sleeve opening and then i'm going to sew it on the side as well and hem the side so that is all we need to do for this dress to be ready okay so the neckline is turned as you can see the um, the op sleeve opening is turned and the hem of the black dress is turned as well and this is what the full view of this beautiful dress looks like so you just need to aim it on the inner part it has to be really neat so you make sure you surge it sorry you surge everything with your with your weaving machine so that you have something really neat and beautiful then you arrange your bow so here you can see that i tagged it at the four corners yeah so if you want to sew it down as well but i just want it to be opened on the side like this so if you want yours to be sewn down you just go ahead and sew it exactly where you have turned this you make sure you sew it on that part and then the bow as well i tag this down and then i'm just going to arrange my pleats very well so this is what it's looking like now you can see how beautiful this really looks so now if you want to apply earrings to this as well you can cut pieces of your clothes make a tiny rope out of it then you use your earring but this gold earring just matches with the pattern of the fabric that i use so i'm just going to leave mine as it is so we have this outfit for sale it's on sale for i ready to wear we have it both in retail and also so if you are interested let me know in the comment section or you send me a message on instagram at larry b Trends fashion so you go ahead and iron this very well i'm just going to put this on the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like okay so this is what our beautiful kaftan is looking like you can see the upper part which is the bow you can do any design of your choice it doesn't have to be this specific design and then on the lower part i just follow the neckline you can see the beautiful neckline that we have here and we have three layers just like this so like i said it can be any design you want and this is the printing so this printing now it is sticked to it you cannot remove again and you can see how neatly the neckline is turned as well so this is what the back look like you can it's just a straight half tan dress and then the sleeve just stops around the six inches so like i said i just want mine to be like this you can decide to sew it down and then you can also add pockets to yours i think i'm just going to add pockets to mine later so i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one